Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on ventilation perfusion mismatch. VQ mismatch in a normal lung Describes the imbalance between ventilation V and perfusion Q in different areas of the lung. Overall VQ ratio is 0.9 as alveolar ventilation is 4.5 liters per minute divided by pulmonary arterial blood flow 5 liters per minute. From top to bottom of the lung, ventilation increases, perfusion increases, and the increase in perfusion is more than the increase in ventilation. Ventilation perfusion graph. The y-axis consists of flow in liters per minute and the VQ ratio. X-axis from left to right represents the region of the lung from bottom to the top. Ventilation decreases linearly from bottom to the top of the lung. Perfusion decreases linearly from bottom to the top of the lung. It starts at a higher flow and decreases more rapidly than ventilation. Perfusion line crosses the ventilation line about two-thirds of the way up the lung and VQ ratio equals 1 at this point. The VQ curve is plotted as such. VQ ratio is 1 at the above mentioned point with a maximum VQ ratio of 3, a smooth curve passes both these points as it rises from left to right. Higher lung regions tend to be ventilated but not perfused, i.e. dead space. Lower lung regions tend to be perfused but not ventilated, i.e. shunt. This graph shows the spectrum of disease in VQ mismatch, with shunt on one end of the spectrum and dead space on the other end of the spectrum. Shunt can occur due to atelectasis lobar collapse or intracardiac shunt, low VQ can be caused by ARDS, pneumonia, congestive heart failure and chronic bronchitis, high VQ ratio can be caused by emphysema and pulmonary embolism, and dead space can be caused by pulmonary embolism. Dead space is the volume of the airways in which no gas exchange occurs. Increased dead space results in decreased proportion of the inhaled gas mixture that takes part in gas exchange. Anatomical dead space is the volume of the conducting airways that does not contain any respiratory epithelium. Extent is from the nasal cavity to generation 16 of terminal bronchioles. It is measured by Fowler's method and approximately it is 2 mL per kg in adults. Alveolar dead space is the volume of those alveoli that are ventilated but not perfused and so cannot take part in gas exchange. Physiological dead space is the sum of anatomical and alveolar dead space and it is measured using Bohr's equation. Fowler's method The patient inhales a single vital capacity breath of oxygen and exhales through a nitrogen analyzer. The y-axis represents nitrogen concentration. The x-axis represents exhaled volume of gas. Phase 1 Pure dead space gas has no value on the y-axis. Phase 2 represents dead space gas plus alveolar gas. The curve rises steeply to reach a plateau. Anatomical dead space is the volume expired at the point on the curve where a vertical line intercepts the curve so that area A equals area B. Phase 3 represents pure alveolar gas. Exhalation of a steady nitrogen content occurs. The curve is not completely horizontal. Phase 4 consists of pure alveolar gas and there is a final upstroke. This occurs at closing volume. Closing volume is the volume of gas over and above residual volume that remains in the lungs when the small airways begin to close. Volume remaining within the lung at this point. At closing volume, small airways begin to close and preferential exhalation from large diameter upper airways occur. Upper airways contain more nitrogen as they are less well ventilated and thus initial concentration of nitrogen in them is not diluted by the oxygen during oxygen inhalational breath. Volume on the x-axis at this point is not the value for the closing volume itself and represents the volume exhaled so far in the test. Bohr's equation The purpose of Bohr's equation is to give a ratio of physiological dead space volume to tidal volume. The normal ratio is 0.3, i.e. Dead space volume is normally around 30% of tidal volume. In pathological situations, 
This ratio tends to increase and makes ventilation inefficient. The Bohr's equation is given by Vd divided by Vt equals PaCO2 minus PeCO2 divided by PaCO2 where Vd equals physiological dead space volume, Vt equals tidal volume, PaCO2 equals partial pressure of arterial CO2, and PeCO2 represents partial pressure of CO2 in expired air. Principles and Derivation Consider this theoretical lung. Each Vt has a component that is dead space. Alveolar volume is Vt minus Vd and takes part in gas exchange at the alveolus. FiCO2 represents inhaled fractional CO2 concentration and is abbreviated by Fi. FeCO2 represents exhaled fractional CO2 concentration and is abbreviated by Fe. FaCO2 represents alveolar fractional CO2 concentration and is abbreviated by Fa. CO2 in a single tidal exhalation is represented by Fe times Vt. Dead space gas is Fi times Vd. Alveolar gas is Vt minus Vd times Fa. Fe times Vt equals Fi times Vd plus Fa times Vt minus Vd. However, as Fi equals 0, Fa times Vt minus Vd equals Fe times Vt. Fa times Vt minus Fa times Vd equals Fe times Vt. Divide both sides by Vt and Fa. Results in Vd divided by Vt equals Fa minus Fe divided by Fa. Delton's law, concentration of gas is proportional to its partial pressure. Therefore, Fa equals PaCO2 and Fe equals PeCO2. Partial pressure of arterial CO2 can approximate alveolar partial pressure of CO2. Therefore, Bohr's equation equals Vd divided by Vt equals PaCO2 minus PeCO2 divided by PaCO2. Modifier plus R may be added as a correction for high inspired carbon dioxide. The Shun equation. Shun occurs in areas of lung that are perfuse but not ventilated. The Shunt equation is Qs divided by Qt equals CCO2 minus CaO2 divided by CCO2 minus CVO2. Qt equals total blood flow. Qs equals shunted blood flow. CCO2 equals end capillary blood content. CVO2 equals shunt blood oxygen content. And CaO2 is arterial blood oxygen content. The purpose of the Shunt equation is to give a ratio of shunt blood flow to total blood flow and the normal shunt ratio is 0.3. The principles of derivation of the shunt equation is beyond the scope of our discussion. However, it is given here for completion's sake. These are my references. Thank you.